Well, hello, YouTubers. No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Oh, it's just too much. The hands and... No. Do it again. Hey, guys. So, today I wanted to give you another makeup video of some sort. Because, as you can see, something is different about me. Yes, I got a haircut. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so I have and some new lenses, right? And I got them from Pinky Paradise. Um, they are the Vast and Sweet Eye Blue ones. Now, I know a lot of you guys loved my EOS uh, ice green lenses. So, I'm going to be doing another review on these lenses. And yes, um, who I don't remember your name. I'll insert it here as soon as I see the comment. But yes, I will order some gray. Someone requested for me to order um, some gray lenses and try them. And to my, you know, every time I've seen someone with gray lenses, I thought that they were blue. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna order some gray ones and just try them out for you. Cause since you requested it, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would order some blue lenses because I know some people had also said they wanted to see me with blue lenses. And so this is it right here. And in my review, I'll um, be sure to show you closer, you know, closer ups and close up, closer ups. Really? I will show you um, close ups of my eyes and I'll take pictures and insert them in the video. So be sure to look for that review. But right now I'm just going to do a let's see, a makeup tutorial for blue eyes or like some slash summer makeup. So um, I have an idea of what I'm going to wear or what shadows I'm going to use and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to start this tutorial with the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to be putting that in my lids, or sorry, on my lids, in my inner corners, and on the lower part of my lids, because I'm going to be applying eyeshadow all over the lid today. So we're just going to blend that out on both eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take the Sephora Collection and Prisma Chrome with the orange facets, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lid. I know I said that completely wrong, sorry. Um, this is going to be the main color that's on the lid, and I'm singing, sorry. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to take Sherry Mary by L'Oreal, and it's an infallible pigment, pressed pigment. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner because I want it to add an accent. I don't want it to necessarily be a shining color. I just want it to have accent so then it makes the blue pop even more. So I'm just going to be putting that on our outer corners. And yes, again, I was singing. <laughs> Now I'm going to be taking a NYX single eyeshadow. It's a matte shadow in Dancing the Tides, or Dance the Tides. And it's just like a milk chocolate brown color. So um, I'm just going to apply this in my crease with a Sonia Kashuk rounded crease brush. So I'm going to really just blend this into the crease and into that Sherry Mary color because I don't want it to be defined so much. I want it to just kind of look like all one color, but just really gradient and nice and smooth. Not muddy, but smooth. Now I'm going to be taking another NYX uh, eyeshadow, and this one isn't matte, it's just a regular shadow. And um, this is called Rust, and I'm going to take a uh, Sonia Kashuk crease brush this time and just apply this directly in the crease. And this is just to add color and um, to give it another blue, another color to go off of, and that makes it pop. Now I'm taking Tiki by Hard Candy, and this is a bronzer, but it's more of a highlighter. Um, Jaclyn Hill mentioned this product in her Summer Essentials video, and as soon as she said that she had it, I literally went and bought it because I trust her word in everything that she says. And she is just so good at makeup, and I am just like, she is an idol of mine when it comes to makeup. So I put that in my inner two duct, and then I'm just taking Dance with the Tights and putting it on my lower lash line. I'm taking ABC Gum now, and this is my Urban Decay, and I'm putting this on my highlight with a crease brush just because it's a lot denser, so I thought the color would be, off, be better. Then I'm taking this Bedheads Cosmetics uh, Shadow in Natural. I'm putting that over the highlight um, and in the inner corners where I've applied that tiki color just to give it more of a glowy effect. Okay, now I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, or not in Milk, sorry, in Rust. And this is going to act as our first eyeliner that we put on. And I'm going to take a smudge brush and just smudge it out. 
Then I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild eyeliner, and it's the liquid eyeliner in black. I'm going to be just creating a very thin um, liner, but at the end of it, I'm going to do a nice uh, cat eye. I figured that this would be, this would look your eyes, it would make your eyes look really nice. Sorry, I cannot talk. It will make your eyes look really nice and um, just cute and dolly-like when you add the cat eye. So. Now I'm going to take some eyelash curlers and curl my lashes and get them ready for mascara applications. And I'm going to take my Jordana uh, Best Lash Volumizing Mascara. Um, I believe that's what it's called. And before then I said it's the best mascara ever. Because it really is. And the formula is perfect. The brush is perfect. It grabs every lash. It makes it thick. It makes it long. Just wonderful, so, and it's in the color black, by the way. Although, I think a brown mascara would look really nice with this, too. Good? Bad? Good. Okay, <laughs> so, now I'm going to be applying the Revlon Kate Moss Collection color number 14, which is a new color, my all-time favorite lipstick. And I'm going to be taking uh, this Wet n Wild color in Dollhouse Pink right here and put this on the center of my lips to add a pouty effect. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild, here's the visual, there we go. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Last color and um, click on my Hyper Pink. And I'm just going to apply that on top of the Dollhouse Pink. Okay, so this is a visual of what the look is when it's all completed. Yeah, that's basically it. And the very last thing I'm going to do is apply my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set to my face. As you can see, I'm always terrified and never ready to spray stuff on my face. So. Okay, and I forgot to put my highlighter on. This is the Tarte Princess Highlighter. Um, and I'm going to put that on all areas of the face where the sun would naturally hit it. So. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, or enjoyed it. Um, it's just basically oranges. Um, I really feel that orange complements blue eyes. Um, really makes them stand out. So I just did this look and then made my skin really bronzy and glowy. Um, at the end there I just added some highlighter just to accentuate the areas of my face. So I hope that you liked this and that it was fun. <laughs> and um, yeah, make sure to take, can't talk, let me just take a break. Make sure to click on the link to go to my review for these lenses here in a little bit. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!